Namaum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Simana Bhaktivedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasvate Deve Gauravani Vacharine Nirvishesha Shunyavani Vacharya Desha Tarine Si Krishna Chaitanya Pramunityananda Si Advaita Gadara Si Vasadi Gauravata Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 So we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam Tenth Canto, Chapter Eighty Seven, <clears throat> Prayers by the Personified Vedas, Text Thirty Two, Translation, Purport by the Disciples of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. <laughs> Amishvava Gatya Brisham Vishuddhava Gatya Brisham Tvai Sudhiyo Bhave Dadati Bhava Manu Prabhavam Tvai Sudhiyo Bhave Dadati Bhava Manu Katam Manu Vartatam Bhava Bhayam Tavayat Brukuti Katam Manu Srijati Mohustri Nemi Ravavach Charane Shubhayam Srijati Mohustri Nemi Ravavach Charane Shubhayam Manishutava Maya Brahma Mamishvava Gatya Brisham Manishutava Maya Brahma Mamishvava Gatya Brisham Tvai Sudhiyo Bhaveda Dati Bhava Manu Prabhavam Katamanu Vartatam Bava Bayam Tavayat Brukuti Katamanu Vartatam Bava Bayam Tavayat Brukuti Sijati Muhustri Nemi Rabavach Charane Shubhayam Sijati Muhustri Nemi Rabavach Charane Shutava Maya Brahma Mamishvava Gatya Brisham Shutava Maya Brahma Mamishvava Gatya Brisham Tvai Sudhiyo Bhave Dadati Bhava Manu Prabhavam Tvai Sudhiyo Bhave Dadati Bhava Manu Prabhavam Gata Manu Vartatam Bhava Bayam Dav Tavayad Brukuti Gata Manu Srijati Mohustri Nemi Rabavach Charane Shubhayam Srijati Mohustri Nemi Rabavach Charane Shubhayam Nrishu Among Humans Tava Your Mayaya By the Illusory Energy Brahmam Bewilderment. Amishu among these. Avagatya understanding. Brisham fervent. Tvai unto you. Sudhiya those who are wise. Above, unto the source of liberation, dadati, render, havam, loving service, anuprabhavam, potent, katam, how, 
Anuvartatam for those who follow you faithfully. Bhava of material life. Bhayam fear. Tava your Yat since. Bru of the eyebrows. Kutihi the furrowing. Sujati creates. Muhu repeatedly. Trinemihi three rimmed. In three phases of time, namely past, present, and future. <laughs> ah, not. Bhavat from you. Sharane Shu. For those who take shelter. Bayam fear. Translation, the wise souls who understand how your maya deludes all human beings render potent loving service to you who are the source of liberation from birth and death. How indeed can fear of material life affect your faithful servants? On the other hand, your furrowing eyebrows, the triple-rimmed wheel of time, repeatedly terrify those who refuse to take shelter of you. Мъдрите души, които разбират как твоята майя обърква всички човешки същества, отдават могъщо и благослужение на теб, който си източникът на освобождението от разума и смърт. Сега, наистина, може ли страхът от материалния живот да засегне твоите вредни слуги? От друга страна, твоите напреждени вежди и дългото околно на времето постоянно ужасяват тези, които отказват да приемат условията от теб. Purport. The Vedas reveal their most cherished secret, devotional service to the personality of Godhead, only to those who are tired of material illusion, which is based on a false sense of independence from the Lord. Вегите разкриват най-скъпата тайна предното служение на Божествената Личност. Само на тези, които са уморени от материалната иллюзия, която се основава на изманното чувство за независимост от Бога. Дава джасанеги санхита 32.11 of the White Yajur Veda contains the following mantra. Дава джасанеги санхита Paritya Bhutani, Paritya Lokan, Paritya Sarvak, Pradisho Dishascha, Upasthaya Pratama Jam Ritasya, Tmanatmanam Avisam Vivesha. After passing beyond all the species of life, all the planetary systems and all the limits of space in all directions, one approaches the original soul of immortality. Then one receives the opportunity to enter permanently into his domain and worship him with personal service. Всекото премина отвъд всички форми на живота, всички планетарни системи, всички ограничения на времето в посоки и всички посоки на човек се обръща към изначалната душа на вечността и на смъртта. Тогава човек получава възможността да влезе завинаги в неговата обител и да поубежава с лично служене. The proponents of various contending materialistic philosophies may consider themselves very wise, but they are in fact all deluded by the Supreme Lord's Maya. Дръжниците на различните материалистични философии могат да се считат за много мъдри, но те всъщност се объркват от 
Vaishnavas recognize this pattern of general delusion and submit themselves to the Supreme Lord in the devotional mood of servitude, friendship, and so on. Instead of the heat and strife of philosophical quarrel, the pure Vaishnavas experience only delight at every moment because the object of their love is he who brings an end to material entanglement. And the devotees of Lord Vishnu enjoy constant pleasure not only in this life but in future lives. In whatever births they take, they enjoy loving reciprocations with the Lord, thus the sincere Vaishnava prays. Nata yoni sahasreshu yeshu yeshu brahmam yaham tatra tatra achyuta bhaktir achyutastu dridatvai. Wherever I may wander, O Master, among thousands of species of life, in each situation may I have firmly fixed devotion to you, O Achyuta. There's a quote from Vishnu Purana. Some philosophers will question how the Vaishnavas can overcome their material entrapment without thorough analytical knowledge of the entities Tvam, you, the Jiva, and Tat, that, the Supreme, and without developing a sufficient hatred of material life. The personified Vedas here answer that there is no chance of material illusion continuing to act on devotees of the Lord because even in the earliest stages of devotional service all fear and attachment are removed by the Lord's grace. Time is the root cause of all fear in this world. Indeed, with its three divisions of past, present and future, it creates terror at the prospect of impending disease, death and hellish suffering, but only for those who have failed to obtain shelter at the feet of the Supreme Lord. As the Lord himself says in the Ramayana, Lankakanda 18.33, Sakrit eva prapanno yastha stavasat miti yacha idyachate avayam sarvada tasmai dadam yatat vartam mama to whom ever even once surrenders to me pleading I am yours, I give eternal fearlessness. This is my solemn vow. Furthermore, in the Bhagavad Gita 7.14, the Lord says, This divine energy of mine, consisting of the three modes of material nature, is difficult to overcome. But those who have surrendered unto me can easily cross beyond it. 
Божествената, тази моя божествена енергия се строя, ще се открити дори в реалната пророга, много трудно още да го преодолявам. Но тези, които да се отдадат днес на Твоето свято. Вайшнавас do not like to waste their time in prolonged and fruitless wrangling over dry philosophic subjects. They would rather worship the personality of Godhead than quarrel with philosophical adversaries. The Vaishnava's understanding concurs with the essential message of revealed scripture. These devotees' conception of the Supreme Absolute Truth as the infinite ocean of personality and loving pastimes in his worshipable forms of Krishna, Rama and other manifest, divine manifestations and their conception of themselves as his eternal servants amount to the perfect conclusion of Vedanta philosophy in terms of the entities Tat and Tvam. <laughs> Уважаеми хора на Кришна, Ама и други божествени проявления и тяхната идея за, за тях самите като негови вечни слуги са съвършеното заключение. Но веданта философията от гледна точка на същности до та и това. The personality of Godhead and his emanations such as the Jiva souls are simultaneously different and non-different just like the sun and its expanding rays. Богът, върховна личност и неговите еманации, като джива душите и едновременно, са едновременно и външни и тържествени, също както са и световете и неговите очи. There are more jivas than anyone can count and each of them is eternally alive with consciousness as the Shrutis confirm. Има повече джива, отколкото човек може да изброи и всяко от тях е вечно жива с съзнание, както казват Шрутите. Нитио нитянам, четана с четананам, тата упанишат 5.13 и швета швата упанишат 6.13. When they are sent forth from the body of Mahavishnu at the beginning of material creation, the jivas are all equal in the sense that they are all atomic particles of the Lord's marginal energy. Когато те са изпратени от тялото на Mahavishnu в началото на материалното творение, всички живи са равни в смисъл, че те са всички атомични частици от нуждната енергия на Бога. But according to their different conditions, they divide into four groups. Some are covered by ignorance, which obscures their vision like a cloud. Others become liberated from ignorance through a combination of knowledge and devotion. Други се освобождават от невежество с комбинацията на знание и преданост. A third group of souls become endowed with pure devotion with a slight mixture of desire for speculative knowledge and fruitive activity. Третата група души има чиста преданост, но леко примесени с желанието за спекулативно знание, възрътно знание и прогнозни дейности. Those souls attain purified bodies composed of perfect knowledge and bliss which they can engage in the Lord's service. And finally, there are those who are devoid of any connection with ignorance. These are the Lord's eternal associates. The marginal position of the jiva souls is described in the Narada Pancharatra. Yat tatastam tu chit rupam svasam vedyat vinirgatam ranjitam gunnaragena sajiva iti katyate. 
The Tatastha potency should be understood as emanating from the Lord's Sambit or knowledge energy. This emanation called the Jiva becomes conditioned by the qualities of material nature. Tatastha energy, because the minute jiva lives within the margin between the Lord's external illusory potency maya and his internal spiritual potency chit, the jiva is called tatastha, marginal. When he earns liberation by cultivating devotion to the Lord, however, he, come, become, he comes completely under the shelter of the Lord's internal potency, and at that time he is no longer tainted by the modes of material nature. Lord Krishna confirms this in Bhagavad Gita 14.26. Mam chayo vyabicharena bhakti yogena sevate sagunan samati vyaitan brahma buyaya kalpate. One who engages in full devotional service, unfailing in all circumstances, at once transcends the modes of material nature and thus comes to the level of Brahman. The object of the soul's worship is realized in three aspects, Brahman, Paramatma and Bhagavan. Impersonal Brahman is like the radiant effulgence of the sun. The super soul of Paramatma is like the sun globe. And the personality of Godhead, Bhagavan, is like the presiding deity within the sun, complemented by his elaborate entourage and paraphernalia. Or, to cite another analogy, travelers approaching a city from a distance cannot at first distinguish its features, but rather see something vaguely shining ahead of them. As they come closer, they may discern a few of the taller buildings. Then, when they are sufficiently close, they will see the city as it is, a bustling metropolis with many citizens, residences, public buildings, highways and parks. In the same way, persons inclined to impersonal meditation may at best gain some realization of the Supreme Lord's effulgence, Brahman. Those who approach closer can learn to see him as the Lord in the heart, Paramatma. And those who come very close can know him in his full personality, Bhagavan. In summary, Srila Srila Swami Prabhupada.
praise. Sangsara chakra krakachaya vidirnam udirna nana babata patattam katanchit apanam iha prapannam tvam udara sri nri hare nri lokam. O oh, Sri Nri Hari, please deliver those human beings who have suffered all kinds of torments and been ripped apart by the sharp edge of samsara's wheel, but who have now somehow found you and are surrendering themselves unto you. O oh, Sri Nri Hari, molite o svobodite zičevoške sištistva, kujto se stradali vseh odbit mati, ki se odbili <clears throat> Anyone remembers anything from this long purport? <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, we'll see the translation again. The wise souls who understand how your Maya deludes all human beings render potent loving service to you who are the source of liberation from birth and death. How indeed can fear of material life affect your faithful servants? On the other hand, your furrowing eyebrows, the triple rim wheel of time, repeatedly terrify those who refuse to take shelter of you. Ти му дават могъщо любовно служение ти, който си източникът на освобождение от раждане смърт. Как наистина може страхът на приятел живот да засегне твоите верни слуги? От друга страна, който има безденни вежди и твоя поколение на време, които постоянно ужасяват тези, които отказват да вземат на своята воля. So, Maya, fear, is one of the four principles of material existence. Many times we hear the equivalent as a translation, defending. Right? We have four, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. Ahara, Nidra, Maituna, and Bhaya. Bhaya actually literally means fear. And if one is fearful, then one tries to defend himself. And that may be another entity who is attacking. That's generally when we speak of defense, we think like that. But we have also the what is called the onslaught of material nature. <laughs> it's like an attack. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like attack. Extre- extreme meteorolo- meteorological conditions are an onslaught on the body <laughs> and the mind. <laughs> Now we have extreme cold, maybe not here, but a little bit north. (laughs) I mean, extreme, you know, minus 50, 60. What's the limit of the lowest temperature recorded? There's some place they have a sign, you know. 67 or something like that, almost 70 degrees below zero, not Fahrenheit, Celsius. <laughs> if you spit, <laughs> it will freeze in the air. <laughs> it will fall on the ground as a piece of ice. <laughs> so don't pee. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you have to, but not with 70 below zero. It's not a good idea. <laughs> 
So then you are packed up into, I don't know, you know, special suit or three dozen uh, normal, um, what do you call it? Jackets. Uh, yeah, jackets or, well, jacket is not sufficient. A, a, a big coat and a hood and a shawl and you almost practically cover your face just to, maybe you can breathe still somehow. <laughs> But uh, if, if you expose it too long, then, I mean, it's not uh, advised. People should stay inside because everything will freeze. So that's an onslaught. Yes, and it causes fear because if you don't defend yourself, then you, yeah, you, not for sure, you will die. And the other extreme, the Death Valley in America, is the hottest place on earth, practically 60 above zero. I think the maximum there is 59 it's practically 60 degrees and, I mean, you know, we, we even when it's 35, 40, 45, I, 46, 47, 48, I experienced last year in Vrindavan, so it is an onslaught. <laughs> And without air conditioning, I mean, with a Western body, you practically you cannot survive. Yeah? Because it's 48 in the shade, not in the sun. <laughs> of course, it's all measured in the shade. So it's relentless, 24 hours, practically speaking. And it, at night it may go down to 37, 36. But as soon as the sun comes up, at 6 o'clock in the morning, every minute one degree more. <laughs> and not one day, not one week, a month, two months. So it's, it's an attack and on your whole system and some people just die from the heat if your system cannot handle you know, like all the, it's, it's happening. So therefore it says here then the living entities are repeatedly terrified by this. Yes. Um, because everything is caused ultimately by the wheel of time. The season changes and sun comes and goes and so, and besides that, time takes away every single day a little bit of your lifespan. And we don't really realize that because by the influence of Maya, who deludes all human beings. Yes, it's, oh, time passes, but we are not realizing the effect exactly. Especially if the body is new, fresh, <laughs> just coming out of the oven. <laughs> The skin is still like a peach. <laughs> the skin is still like a peach. You, know? yeah, you look at, you know, the baby, no wrinkle. Huh? <laughs> then, in time, <laughs> and nowadays, maybe after you pass 20, 25, then some little tiny wrinkle appears maybe around the eyes. <laughs> and then when you realize it in the mirror, 
You are terrified. <laughs> Immediately get some cream <laughs> or put some cucumber on. <laughs> right. No, they put face mask. You know, then you're just hoping this will reverse the effect of time. It doesn't. <laughs> Anyway, so then in time it becomes worse. Then it starts here. <laughs> you try some lifting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it goes. <laughs> some Botox. Six months maximum. It's expensive, it's not good for your, obviously, how can, it's a tox, it's, it's maybe Botox, but it's tox, <laughs> it's a poison that you, so nobody can escape this onslaught of time, um, yes, except for the faithful servants of the Lord, as it is said here. Um, they know that time may pass, but whether I'm in this body or another body or this world or another world, I'm just being engaged in the Lord's service. <clears throat> Therefore, um, yeah, Shiva says to Parvati, right? Narayana para sarve nakutashana bibyati. The, the, the devotees of Narayana, of the Lord, they, are, they have no, they're not fearful. Svarga, uh, um, what is it, Svarga? Apavarga, Narakeshu, no? They can be in heaven or in hell or anywhere, but they're always engaged in the Lord's service, so they, they don't care. <coughs> so that's the only solution. Otherwise, we are completely uh, exposed to the changes of time. Uh, as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Kalos me, I am time and I destroy everything. And then we know just by observing, because the material world is exposed to the influence of time, everything becomes destroyed. Some things may last longer than others, but it's just a question of time. <laughs> yes, if you think of metals, there are some metals like just raw iron, it will oxidize and it's just a matter of time, it becomes powder. <laughs> And if you have a precious metal, um, gold, it may last for thousands of years without changing, practically. Yeah. So some bodies, they will last only a few hours. The Prophet says that they, they take birth in the evening, and then he says they grow up, they marry, and... <laughs> And then they die before the morning comes. <laughs> yeah, some animals, like they, what do they live? The dog, eight years, ten years, the cow may live twenty years, an elephant maybe, I don't know, and a turtle, one of those, you know, they can live more than a hundred years, more than even a human being. And if you get a demigod's body, all right, you can live for thousands and ten thousands and maybe millions of years. But at the end, it all will be dissolved. <laughs> uh, this, uh, uh, minimum after Brahma's lifetime is over. That's a few trillion trillions of years we can even cannot even imagine, but it's all relative. 
then also Brahma becomes fearful when you know there's still one day left, which is only four million, four thousand, four thousand three hundred. 4,300 million years, but it's the last day. No, last 12 hours, my God, what an anxiety. <laughs> and here it's just very evident, and you become 80. 85, 90, then you know how many more years you're going to have. <laughs> and you have all this money. You cannot even spend. There's no time. <laughs> you have about all this fame and it's all going to disappear. So it's so much anxiety. No? <laughs> so there's no escape. Uh, unless one takes shelter of the lotus seed of the Lord. He quoted here this verse from Ramayana, which actually is in the Chaitanya Chaitamita. Um, Ramachandra making a promise. Sakrit Eva Prapanna. Sakrit means only once. <laughs> and Prapanna, this surrendering process, if it only takes one place, if it takes place only once. <clears throat> but it means complete surrender, not, you know, yes, no, no, complete. Conditional. Unconditional. Unconditional. That's right. Which is expressed in Tava Asmi Iti. I am yours. Yes. And then what Abhayam Sarvadat, all, in all circumstances, I will give, bestow fear, fearlessness on that person. Vratam Mama, that's my vow. So that means even if somebody, if somebody did this once, and even later by circumstances, bad association, whatever it may be, becomes distracted, uh, the Lord will take care and bring you on, back on the path. And of course, the famous verse from Bhagavad Gita, where Krishna says, yes, this Maya, nobody can conquer my Maya. It's, it's my energy and it's powerful. But again, you surrender unto me, I'll take care, then don't, you don't, there's no more fear. Therefore, he says, Sarva Dharma, Mam Mashucha, don't fear. So, therefore, if we want to become fearless, and who does not want to become fearless, that's the only way. <laughs> so, any comments? We have three minutes. <laughs> According to the. Perhaps it's Sunday, we have 30 minutes. Really, do we? <laughs> so then, please comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was a long purport. There are so many things. Um, well, they're all about the same subject, finally. So? Um, about the surrendering and uh, the, our, our fear, it seems like. Can, can we conclude that if, if we still experience fear or we are um, still under the modes or that Russian was another verse was quoted, yes. uh, all attachments are gone, but if we keep, if we, we still maintain, that means we have not surrendered. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a question of not black and white, 100% or nothing, all or nothing, the typical all or nothing. It's a process. 
Значи въпросът се отдава на друг. Това не става дума за черно-бяло или това или не, а ми е процес. The Prapadyamana Sya. It's, it's actually in the process of surrender. That's from the 11th canto, this famous verse. And it's compared to the process of eating, which is also not like, you know, you have the plate and <laughs> it, No, it's, it's you, each morsel you take, then, well, there should be some kind of nice experience. If it's not nirguna, it's saguna, right? <laughs> Yes, it is. It must be saguna. Otherwise, if it's tasteless, then who wants to eat? <laughs> Only if you're forced to because you're diseased, then you have to take the cure. You have to take anything, even bitter medicine or whatever it takes, because, you know, otherwise you'll not survive. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, normally under normal circumstances, who does not want to eat something palatable? Only Maya bodies. <laughs> no, it's true, because they're afraid. This is the core. They are afraid, as Papa says, you offer them a rasgula and they go like this. Because, oh, if I take this, then my, my desires will be awakened to enjoy good food. And that binds me to the material world, so I will, will, I'll refuse. I mean, we talk about the real ones. Not the, fake, not the fake ones. <laughs> Nowadays, hard to find. No, not, they will not only accept a rasgula, they will accept anything. Because according to Mayavadi, what does it matter? It's only an appearance. It's not, you know, I, I know I'm not, so I can eat anything. Yeah. I can do anything, eat anything. It's, it's all one anyway, so, and I'm beyond, so it's just my pastime. And I eat like a hog, it's my pastime. But coming back to the example, so the idea is that Prapadyamanasya, there's a process, so the process of eating, if it's palatable, um, the more you eat, because maybe, or should, you should have been hungry before that, otherwise don't eat, um, then the hunger will go away. So if the process of surrender is executed properly, then the hunger for material, the uh, Trishna, uh, the, the thirst for material enjoyment will at least become less and less and less until it disappears. If one thinks I'm practicing spiritual life and material desires increase, then really definitely something is wrong in your practice or whatever. There's some mistake somewhere you have to find out. <laughs> As we said, you know, you're eating, you're eating, you're eating, and hunger doesn't go away, and you're dissatisfied. Then, as we talked about this living in little thing inside, that maybe take everything away, and you never get the benefit of the food. <laughs> Or it's completely near Guna and there's no effect of eating. <laughs> yeah, near Guna means no quality. There's <laughs> or junk. You know, that's also like a kind of it's it's a fake Guna. 
Saguna. Okay. It's, 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 <laughs> it's cheating, you know. It's, it's junk food is really cheating. Apparently, very tasty. But destroys your health completely. <laughs> this is Maya. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. And people are addicted to it. That's another thing. It's con conceived in such a way by adding certain substances that you become addicted. There's always some kind of sugar in it, even though you may not even taste it, just to make you addicted. <laughs> And other things, of course. They're very intelligent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's really addictive. Yes, it is. Even the, the cigarettes, as far as I have heard or read, it's not just if it would, would, would be a pure cigarette, right? It would not be as addictive as they are nowadays because they're adding something else, this, whatever chemical it may be. Anything. So, yeah, so then, uh, of course, um, the process, not that the process doesn't work. We are not executing the process or you're not eating properly. That's my opinion. Mamata, <laughs> no? Somebody may have another opinion. <laughs> okay. We will not engage in a dry, dry philosophical arguments. <laughs> Try to defeat the adversary. <laughs> the adversary. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was, devotees would rather worship the personality of God than quarrel with philosophical adversaries. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I uh, observed that last verses it's always finishing with the commentaries of Shrida Swami. They're all, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So? Nothing new. <laughs> Somehow or other, yeah, it's in the... Well, you're touching it and it, <laughs> it responds. <laughs> What do you expect? It's a faithful servant. <laughs> At least it works. Eh? <laughs> so, that's a good sign. If it doesn't respond anymore, then you know it's time to get rid of it. <laughs> All right, so can we stop or do you have any other? We are good still, huh? Um, hmm. Maharaj, can you say something about the mood? <laughs> the what? The mood. Uh, mood? Yes, of the devotee. Uh, we read from the quote of Vishnu Purana. The devotee oh. prays, uh, no matter where, where I'm born, how many times I'm born, I just pray that I will continue serving you. And sometimes this is... Uh, kind of excuse the body say, well, you, know, you cannot complete the process in one lifetime and uh, next life. So they are, they are actually preparing, you know. Like, I know, I, I know, I serious. know persons like this, they all openly admit that they cannot do it now and that may be a fact. Mm -hmm. 
вас познам от някакви открито казва, че няма да завърши процес и това е факт, може да е факт. So therefore, back to Vinod Thakur, prays in Manasade Hageha that if I have to be reborn, then please allow me to be born in the house of a devotee. И затова е пак това, ако се моля в песента Манасаде Хагей, ако аз трябва да се родя, молете ме да се родя в къща на Прага. Which corresponds to what is said here. Wherever I may wander, yeah, please allow me to have firmly fixed devotion to you. So, but that doesn't mean the one is making plans. But we also know that we are not in control. No, we, we can, we try our best and we hope that like, you know, this uh, prayer by Kula Sheka, that now I'm Okay, so if I die now, there's a good chance that my mind will be remembering you, and otherwise, I don't know what will happen. Yes, he knows he has read. The third canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> no? Well, we have the description of the dying man with a goro goro. You know, he can't practically speak anymore because his throat is filled up with mucus. <laughs> yeah. It's there in the verse, goro goro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the situation. So, um, one knowing that this may be, because <laughs> then you, how can you control? You cannot control. So therefore, Kulasheka prays, let me die now. Or the devotee may pray that, please allow me to remember you. Because, yes, I will try to remember you at the time of death and then don't take another birth. But if I have to take another birth, then please allow me to rem- you know, be in a circumstance where my devotion will not become less or even disappear, but I will continue to be your servant. <laughs> Same thing, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu prays, Janmani, Janmani, Shvare, Bhavatat, Bhakti, Rahaitu, Kitwai. So that's my only desire, that please allow me, because it's not just, I, you know, I have a right and I'll take it whenever I want. Devotional service is given. So the Lord gives devotional service, so please allow me, Bhavatat, Bhakti, Rahaitu, Not just any type, Rahaitu, unmotivated devotional service. That's the prayer. So, devotee it, it takes that humble position. He doesn't think that, of course, I'll, you know, go. <laughs> I'm so advanced. I'm thinking of the Lord all the time. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, he knows. Who knows how, what will be the circumstance of my leaving the body? So I depend completely on the mercy of the Lord. But if somebody already makes plans that, you know, I'll, I'll take another birth and uh, it doesn't really matter because... Krishna says that Suchinam uh, Srimatam Gehe Yoga Brashta, I'm a Yoga Brashta, I, I, yes, and, uh, but I hope I will be born in a nice family in America. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Germany, no, but it's not a good play. United Kingdom, oops, no. <laughs> worse. 
<laughs> so, Turkey, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, no, I mean, this is just foolish. <laughs> Even India nowadays, <laughs> there's no good place anywhere. So, make, I mean, it's just weakness, and it's not a good thing to even make plan. You know, why, why should we think like that? We should try our best, and then it's up to Krishna. <laughs> Hmm. No, it's unfortunate. Eh? One, one is so weak that um, practically you have laid down your weapons before the enemy. <laughs> you don't fight anymore. Eh? <laughs> and then uh, you can enjoy your senses. Because anyway, I'm going to take another birth. But I've taken enough prasadam, so I'll take a human, human birth. That's, that's the promise. I mean, it's all Maya. <laughs> yes. I, I've chanted many rounds and, you know, so... And I did service, so, you know, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll get a human body and that's good enough. <laughs> Not a good plan, huh? I mean, what, who knows what kind of human body it is? And where and what what who your parents are? <laughs> no guarantee. That's not a good plan. Definitely not advised by the acharyas. So we have to follow the acharyas, as we said. Uh, they said, this lifetime, finish your business. Don't take chance. It's a lottery. You think, I get another human birth, but who knows where and what circumstance. All right. Are we good? There's nothing online? Good. They're all. It's, it's past Dominica, no? <laughs> Sundays <laughs> don't bother me <laughs> weekend <laughs> so yes okay so therefore let me go to sleep <laughs> enjoy life by sleeping <laughs> no Anyway, so we stop here. Sri La Prabhupada, Kidai, Nandra Shimad Bhagavatam, Kidai, Sishigonita, Gaurabhakta, Vrinda, Kidai.